What is a plinth beam? What's the purpose and function of the plinth beam? And what are the sizes of the plinth beam? If you want to know, make sure you watch till the end. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your host Jess Kadek with another useful and important video. Uh, this video is all about the plinth beam. Yeah, we're going to talk about the plinth beam. What is a plinth beam? Uh, what is the purpose and function of the plinth beam? and finally we're going to touch upon yeah what is the standard size of the plinth beams uh so we're going to discuss all these in this video make sure you watch till the end as you can see yeah i'm outside in a different studio here uh this is my kids board you can imagine yeah from painting there and obviously i got instruction not to delete the uh, the painting there but i, I will use this uh, small space here and the, we, we're going to go through yeah, all the uh, the details about the plinth beam so make sure you tune in till the end to find out what exactly plinth beam so is if i define the plinth beam in simple terms so it is a reinforced concrete beam a built between the wall and its foundation so in simple term it's it is a reinforced concrete beam so I will draw a cross section just to define yeah, the uh, the plant beam what uh, what actually the plant beam is. So in cross section, if we go, uh, this is a column with a foundation. Uh, so another column. Excuse my drawings. Uh, it's not good. So the column goes up, and so it it is actually and this is the ground level. If we consider this as a ground level so the plinth beam actually goes above the ground level that's another definition it needs to go above the ground level there it can go slightly above as well depending on the floor level so this is actually wherever the top level of the uh, plinth beam that is the floor level so th this is plinth beam This is a ground. Actually, the, the wall that sits on top of the plinth beam. So the wall goes in between the columns. And so this is the wall. So now by definition, so the plinth beam is a reinforced concrete beam that goes between the foundation. The foundation will be here. Or we could go if it's a competent strata we could uh, we could go away with the with the foundation we can compact that yeah with the type one or yeah the compacted material there instead of foundation and the plinth beam goes there on top of the foundation and the wall itself that goes on top of it so it's it's a link between the foundation and the wall so that's that's the plinth beam there so let's let's talk about the purpose and the reason why we provide the plinth beam so the first function of the plinth beam is to prevent the cracking from the foundation into the wall so if there's any cracks in into the foundation so th this splint beam will restrict that to go into the uh, wall there so that's the first function and for most important function of the plinth beam the second function of the plinth beam is to distribute the load from the wall evenly onto the foundation so all the load from there uh, that comes onto the beam, uh, the plinth beam here, and that distribute evenly onto the foundation. So there's no overstressing on the foundation. So the third function of the plinth beam is it links all the columns and it reduces the uh, slenderness ratio of the column, and which increases the capacity or the uh, uh, strength of the column itself. So in effect, yeah, the strength of the column that depends on the slenderness ratio. So effective length by radius of gyration so if you call it uh, yeah r so that that is the uh effective length of the column yeah that is and number four the very important yeah function or the purpose of the plinth beam is uh, so it separates yeah the ground level from the floor level so if the, there there is a high level of a water table uh, in the ground so generally they will seep through uh seep through the foundation and into the wall but if you provide the plinth beam uh, that will restrict that propagation of the moisture content into the wall and you generally see see that in in the high
houses yeah inner side of the walls there uh, basically you, you you can see the flacking of the pants there so that is the very important function of the plane beam as well so let's talk about the size of the plane beam uh, so in general term the size of the plane beam should be a half of the size of the foundation uh, so if we say uh, for instance if I take a cross section here uh, so if we say a foundation of the wall is say 400 mil and we got this is the plinth beam so that should be 200 so the width of that should be 200 so this is general sort of rule uh, rule of thumb we can call it so a rule of thumb uh, this should be half of it so this is the floor level this is the ground level and the column goes basically there so this is the cross section you can see so the if this is 400 wide foundation so generally the plinth beam should be a half of that uh, with uh, 200 mil and it should generally start at the outer edge of the foundation basically that's where we can provide and the, the wall can go there I hope guys I mean this is a uh, useful information uh, if you like the information do press the like and subscribe button as well thanks for watching <laughs>